Jiu-Jitsu. Go ahead and apply your primer. This is going to help apply your makeup smoothly. I'm also going to be adding some serum to add a boost of glow to the foundation. The foundation that I'm going to be using is by Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Sun Beige. Now that I've been staying indoors more often because of this quarantine, you can see that the color is almost matching my skin. Using ColourPop's concealer in the shade Medium, I'm going to be applying that under my eyes. Recently, I've been liking this method where I highlight and then contour, and then after that, I'd blend it all out. This way, I'd see where exactly where I'd highlight and I'd contour, then blend them, but never overlapping those two. So then you can specifically see where I've contoured and highlighted. This shade is called Deep, and it's the concealer from ColourPop. To blend my contour, I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I'm using this full coverage brush by Bare Minerals. I find that using this type of brush actually helps blend my contour way better. The purpose for this brush is actually applying your Mineral Veil powder, but I found this to be more useful for blending my contour. Moving on to blending the highlighter, I'm using this mini sponge by Real Techniques. And I'm just slightly sponging my way over, under my eyes, over my nose bridge, and above my upper lip. Here, I'm just refining those lines with that ColourPop concealer to make my nose appear more thinner and slimmer. Using my Morphe pencil in the shade Chocolate Mousse, I'm going to go ahead and line these brows. And to set them into place, I'm using that brow gel from Morphe as well. For today's look, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Cosmetics palette in collaboration with Sailor Moon. Look at these colors, you guys. I am so excited to show you what I'm about to do. Of course, start off by priming those lids. I'm first dipping into Moon Castle. And as you can see here, there's a lot of fallout in the pan. It's personal preference. If you don't like fallout in the pan, I personally don't like it as much, but yeah, so do with what you will with that. Now under my eye, the shade that I'm going to be using is called Miracle Romance. Honestly, the names for these shadows are by far my favorite. They're so cute and it's, so, it's just like a good feeling dipping into them and looking at it and be like, oh, I'm gonna put Miracle Romance under my eye. A moon castle and then we have what I'm putting on my eye tuxedo rose like come on guys how can it get any cuter than that while you're using tuxedo rose you want to keep in mind that it's very pigmented so you want to apply little by little and then blending it outwards the next shade I'm going to be using is called silver crystal and it's this glitter shade and apply that starting from the middle point of my eyelid and then reaching towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to use Luna, my secret weapon, going to apply that under my brow bone for a little magical effect. I usually like to overline in the center of my lips for all of my looks, but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just carve out the natural shape of them. For my lips, I'm going to be using this Luxe Tint ColourPop lipstick in the shade Genie. 
Have y'all been noticing ColourPop's game lately? Like they've been coming out with so many different palettes, different lines of lipsticks, and now they come out with a lip cushion. And for me, you know me guys, I love lip tints. Um, my favorite is from 3CE, but now that ColourPop has been dropping these, it is currently my fave. It's affordable, soft, velvety, lush. To top off this lip, I'm going to be using the Sailor Moon Gloss by ColourPop. The thing about this applicator is that it's like a brush and it's a little bit sticky, but if you can see here, you see some of the bristles are kind of like fraying out and that's something that is a no-no for me, so... But, it'll have to do. And lastly, I'm using this black liquid liner by NYX Cosmetics. And that is a wrap, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my content, please like and subscribe. I have my Instagram in the link below if you'd like to follow me. And if you'd like to see more content, Go ahead and stay tuned for next time. Thank you so much. Bye.